Time o'clock! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's the hallmark of a fair welfare system uh, that we have a strong and effective way of helping people when they're out of work to find employment. And by doing so, lets them enjoy the dignity, confidence, and self reliance that comes from being able to provide for themselves and their families. In this regard, we should never take the achievements of this Government since 2010 for granted. Yeah. Three million more people in work. Unemployment in Middlesbrough, South and East Cleveland has halved, and we have half the unemployment rate seen in the Eurozone. None of that happened by accident. It happened as a result of the hard work of companies large and small, and it happened as a result of carefully calibrated government policy. That progress could, and I believe would, be undone in an instant. Will the Shadow Chancellor ever to have the opportunity of unleashing his programme of spending hundreds of billions of unfunded spending, nationalisation with Parliament determining fair compensation for shareholders, all in the context of a crippling loss of investor confidence and a run on the pound? So, nonetheless, despite the progress we have seen, there is further to go. And that is precisely why I support universal credit. Its purpose is to deliver fundamental reform and replace a contradictory and indeed, indeed impossible sometimes set of conflicting benefits with a single simplified payment. The key question with any policy is what are the incentives it creates? In the case of universal credit, it aligns those incentives so that work always pays. In Middlesbrough, South East Cleveland, too many lives have been blighted for far too long by joblessness. And I challenge members opposite, go to a ward like Park End, go to a ward like Emlington in my constituency, and tell me it is wrong to end the perverse situation whereby, which we inherited, whereby some people were losing £9 out of every £10 additional pounds that they earned, leaving virtually no incentive to work. What would the Honourable Member say to the nearly 7,000 families in his constituency who currently claim tax credits, who IFS say will be £2,500 a year worse off under universal credit than they are under tax credits? Tell per moment. It's up to members. I'm more than happy to allow interventions. But the moment you put an intervention, if you want to look the colleague in the eye when they drop off the list, please do so, because that's what's going to happen sometime. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would tell them, as I would defend to anybody, that this is a government which is creating jobs it, through, and through its changes to tax and benefits, making life better. And the fact that I have been elected to serve that constituency, I believe, reflects the fact that people in Middlesbrough, South and East Cleveland see through what the opposition is trying to do. They talk of a pause. In effect, what they are asking for is indefinite delay and the slow death of this policy. That, that is the reality of what we are seeing here. They talk a good game about supporting the principle. In reality, they oppose it, and they should be more open with us and indeed with their constituents about that, because the, re the legacy of the last Labour government was shameful. The real moral outrage was the thousands of people who ended up being trapped on out-of-work benefits for the entire course of the last decade of their time in office. And what did they do about it? They did nothing. We are offering the solutions. We are listening and learning. We are making changes. Consider the advance payments. Consider the alternative payment methods. Consider the landlord portal. The front bench is listening. This is a system which is capable of reform. No system is perfect. I do not believe that there is any system, when you consider the challenge that we are confronting here, which could be perfect. The point is, is this a system which is capable of improvement? Yes, it is. The government's listening. We should get behind it, make it work, and stop scaring our constituents with stories which will cause many of them tonight to lose sleep rather than to be looking for work. Yeah. 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 